This is a demonstration of an in-flight pack overheat. You are the pilot non-flying. You are currently flying at your cruise flight level, everything is normal. Let's look at the indications. A failure message and associated ECAM procedure have appeared on the engine warning display. The ECAM bleed page has been automatically called to show amber indications and a fault light has illuminated on the air conditioning control panel. Before you begin, notice that the pack flow control valve has closed. This occurred automatically when the overheat was detected to protect the pack from damage. The valve color indication is amber because the valve position disagrees with the push-button switch position. The compressor outlet temperature is also amber because its limit has been exceeded. Notice also that since the pack valve has closed, the supply line from the pack to the mixer unit has turned amber. This happened because there is no airflow from the pack to the mixing unit. The first step on the ECAM is to turn pack 1 off. This is to match pack push button switch with the pack valve position and also as a preparation to reset the pack. Note that the fault light on the pack push button switch is on to help to locate it and to inform about the overheat condition. The pack 1 push button switch has been pressed to off. Its off light comes on and the pack valve indication turns green showing valve switch agreement. Notice that the fault light is still on. The completed procedural step disappears from the engine warning display. The compressor outlet temperature is now decreasing. Let's move on to the next step of the procedure, which is not an action but a condition line. We have to determine if the pack overheat is out. The fault line in the switch is extinguished, and the compressor outlet temperature indication is green, so we can conclude that the overheat is out. Therefore, accomplish the next ECAM action by switching pack 1 back on. Switch on pack 1. When the pack switch is switched back on, the off light goes off. Normal memos, replace the failure message on the engine warning display because the failure condition no longer exists and the system display returns to the cruise page. You have now completed the ECAM actions. The pack overheat condition has gone and the pack is reset. Let's now review some other abnormal conditions. If an ECAM or QRH procedure requires the use of the ROM air switch, it is operated by lifting the guarded flap and pushing the switch. The push button switch is pressed to on. An on light comes on in the switch, the valve will open and the indication will change on the ECAM bleed page. Note, according to ECAM procedures, normally, the aircraft must be below flight level 100 or minimum in route altitude to operate the ram air valve. Let's look at another abnormal indication. The hot air fault light illuminates amber when a duct overheat is detected. If this occurs, the hot air pressure regulating valve and the trim air valves automatically close. The zone control computer, with two channels, normally operates without any indications to the pilots. However, if a fault occurs, there are backup modes of operation with associated indications. In the first case, if a primary channel failure occurs, the secondary channel takes over. 
and optimized temperature regulation is lost. An alternate mode message appears and the hot air and trim air valves close. In the second case, if a dual channel failure occurs, there is no zone temperature regulation. The packs deliver a fixed temperature and the message pack reg appears on the ECAM conditioning page. Notice also that there are no indications of zone or duct temperature.